I am going to do a vegan bake today, which are delicious whether you're vegan or not. Sometimes it's quite nice to do something different um, and I have been asked to do some more vegan recipes so I thought I would do these. I'm going to make strawberry and banana muffins today. I've made them before, they are lovely and they're also quite good uh, in the freezer. I know I always talk about freezing things but I can't eat this much cake by myself so I have to freeze a lot. Um, one thing that I've had to do though, I bought some bananas the other day and that you need an overly ripe banana for this one. Um, you can actually ripen bananas in the oven um, if you just pop them in the oven on some greaseproof paper at about 160 degrees for 20 minutes. However, if it comes out like that. Oh, <laughs> it's dripping. So, <laughs> sorry. Um, so yeah, if you wanna ripen up your own banana, just let that, just let that cool and then we can mash it up. So that's how to ripen a banana if you need to do that. I will say with vegan recipes, especially vegan baking recipes, you have to be quick. So there's a lot of prep that you should do before um, you start mixing things together. The reason for that is um, you don't use eggs, which are quite an uh, imperative part of baking normally. And so as soon as the liquids hit the raising agents, um, which in this case is self-raising flour, bicarb of soda and baking powder, then it goes, it starts to work really, 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 really quickly. And so if you don't get it in the oven quickly enough, then you'll lose all that air and it will just fall um, and they won't rise. So do your prep first. I've got 560 grams of self-raising flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, and 250 grams of caster sugar in here. And I've sifted the flour and the bicarb and the baking powder. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius, and also prepare a muffin tray filled with muffin cases. This recipe um, makes 12 really big muffins or I probably will do another tray, at least half another tray um, and get still quite sizable muffins. 12 strawberries um, hulled and roughly chopped and washed. We are ready to go. So, oh God, this is a oozy banana. If you've got one that's ripe, it's probably easier because this is grim. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, that just slipped right out. Right, Let's be grown ups about this. Mash the banana. So the fat that we're using in this recipe is from oil. So any flavorless oil you have, I'm gonna use sunflower oil, which is what I normally bake with if I'm doing an oil-based cake. And the milk that you're gonna be using, the dairy-free milk, is soya milk. Um, you can use soya or rice milk. I don't know the science behind the choice of milks, but I do know that soya is the best to bake with. I'm not entirely sure why. That's just the way things are. If you have cup measures, use a cup measure. And for oil, you need um, a cup and a third. So about 330 mils of oil. The quantities feel like quite a lot, but I think it's because the muffins are gigantic. Don't stress. Do. And then a cup and a half of soya milk. And hopefully I've got enough. I should just about have enough. Just about a teaspoon of vanilla. And you need a big metal spoon for this. Um, we're gonna pour all these wet ingredients into our dry ingredients and then mix as quickly as possible in like folding motions until things are just incorporated. We still want the mixture to be a bit lumpy, that's fine. But if you over mix it, you're gonna whip out all of the air that is gonna start to form once the liquid hits the baking powder and the bicarbonate soda. So, in we go. 
So add the liquids and then also add your strawberries at the same time. Oh my God. Stressful trying to do things quickly. Quick folding motions. You can probably start to see it fizzing up. Get right to the bottom, mix everything in. So your cake batter should look like that. There's still some lumps and we're going to put this very quickly into our muffin trays. Fill them up, you don't need to be shy on this. Get them to the top. So they're quite full, these cupcake cases. So just keep going like that and then pop it in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. I've taken them out of the oven and I used a cake skewer just to test that they were fully cooked all the way through. And one of them is caught slightly on the bottom, but they've risen really nicely. That one on the corner is a casualty, so I'll have a little snack on that. You need to cool these um, in their trays for about 10 minutes. So we're gonna make a nice glaze to go over the top of these. I've put in my measuring jug 120 grams of icing sugar. If you have any soya milk left, use that. I used all my soya milk in the cake batter. So I've got oat milk, um, and because we're not actually baking this part, I think I'll be okay. Two tablespoons of soya or rice milk or anything else that you've got in the cupboard. And you can always add more if you want it a bit runnier and then a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla extract or essence. And then give it a mix together and then we're just gonna spoon this over the top of our muffins. And it's, um, a little bit more. and it'll kind of, what am I trying to say? Well, it'd be like a drizzle, you know when you make a lemon drizzle cake? So it will go into the sponge and make it nice and um, just nice. I can't find my words today, I'm really sorry. It's quite liquidy, um, but it is a glaze, so it doesn't need to be thick. And while these cakes are still warm, just spoon over your glaze, and then you can transfer them to a wire cooling rack, and they're done. So, get and glazing glazing squad sorry I can't off the top of my head think of any songs that blazing squad did so you're lucky and it is gonna make a bit of a mess if you need to make more you make more you put on as much glaze as you want or you can start small and then go back and then let me just take one out. And you should have a lovely batch of beautiful strawberry and banana muffins with a delicious glaze on top. So there you have your lovely strawberry and banana vegan muffins. <laughs>